Okay, first team into the uh, shoot on the second day of the uh, women's championship sled dog race is uh, Jennifer Probert Earhart. And uh, yesterday she had the fastest time of 31 minutes and 17 seconds on a 10 mile track down river and back. So. And uh, as you see, there's a, for every set of dogs, there's a, uh, usually a handler. And uh, just to make sure they're on the right side of the line when they take off, so there's no foul ups. They, uh, every second counts in this race. The next team is uh, 31 minutes and 54 seconds. And so that's uh, 31 17 and 31 54. So, there's not that much time. Uh, races have been tied before, to, and uh, races have been won by a single second here. So uh, every second matters. Good takeoff is uh, imperative. Okay. I think they said 30 seconds there. I'm not too sure. Beautiful day out here on the track. Zero, take off. There we go. And there she's off. Heading down the trail. And, okay, looks like a good takeoff. She's underway. Now we're back in the shoot, back in the shoot for the uh, number two team, Courtney Agnes of Yukon uh, men fame. And uh, preparing our team and sled. This team's using a snow go to uh, control the team as they pull up, some do, some don't, most do. Especially the bigger teams in the open race this coming weekend, they'll all have slow goes. One minute. One minute to go here. Yeah, the dogs all want to go. They've had uh, lots of miles put on this winter. This team, uh, these teams have been uh, outside into the cities with uh, running all the professional races and uh and they got lots of miles and lots of training on them um 30 seconds we got Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, one. There they go. Off they go. Another good start. Yeah. Okay, and here, here we go. Next team pulling into the chute. Okay, and this this is uh, Jo Beth Roberts, um, and she had a time of 33 minutes and nine seconds yesterday. Uh, she has a smaller dog team, um, and. Uh, and yep, only less than two minutes, less than two minutes off of the uh, first place team on a 10 mile run. So this team is doing real good too. One minute, One minute to go. 
We got three people doing time up there. Uh, my daughter Kate is uh, on the speaker. Marty Schaff is uh, is uh, the uh, main timekeeper. He's been the timekeeper for as long as I can remember here. And uh, okay, so and then you can see them getting the sled ready. Uh, somebody's going to pull the pull the uh, quick release on for Joe Beth there. That's why he's kneeling down right next to her. 15 seconds. Everybody holding the dog steady. Don't want any dog getting on the wrong side of the line. That could that could cause even the mush of have to stop. Two, one, go. There they go. Okay. And she's off good. Another good start. Okay, and that's it. Everybody everybody just uh, hangs around now. Goes up to the store. And uh, yeah, you can see the uh, post office and the store up there and uh, the Episcopal Church next to it. A little store in there where you go up there and get some coffee or something to eat. And, and uh, yeah, and, uh, this is uh, Front Street and 10, uh, Mission Church. Uh, there's uh, some housing, there's the Catholic Church, uh, the school in the center there, the red and white building, and then all the way down, that, you're looking at the end of town there. Yeah, that last building. All right. Okay, here's the uh, first team coming in in the uh, women's championship. Uh, it looks like an eight dog team, so that uh, should be Jennifer. Probert Earhart and um, yeah, she's moving right along. There's a little bit of a she's got a head when she's running into the wind, so it's just as easy to crouch down as it is to. Try to kick. And she's in. And we'll have her time. And that's how it's done. And they go over to the uh, dog box. They give them a little treat or some uh, soup or something. Or, or if not, that's what the first thing they do when they get them home. And, uh, yep. Okay, so back out to the, uh, out to the track. Uh, tip of that island in the middle of the screen is uh, about six minutes from here so um, and we have another team that is about to make the turn to come across the river This should be Courtney Agnes, and Yelling, come on, Courtney. Let's 
Let's do a little zoom in here and see if we can get her coming. And she is across the finish line. All right, Courtney's, and uh, we'll have a time for her in a second here. And uh, as the uh, third team's coming in, we'll let you know uh, who took first and second place. And we'll. Okay, and here is the third team, Joe Beth Roberts, coming in. And uh, as to those first two teams, uh, Jennifer uh, continued her lead today and uh, won the race for an overall uh, time, of a little, little over a minute, I believe. Um, that's unofficial. A little over a minute of uh, time over Courtney overall for the two-day time. Yep. Yeah, Jude is starting to come across the river. And the, uh, you can see the snow machines coming along too. They're out there at, uh, we have about five different checkpoints out in the race uh, where there'll be forks in the trail and pallets and things blocking them off just to make sure that the uh, teams don't uh, get messed up and everybody has a clean run. And that's uh, all the snow machines that are coming in now. bit of a headwind, not much, but it's uh, keeping the dogs nice and cool. Ten mile run for two days is now finished for those three women. Okay, and that's uh, the Women's Championship race in Tan, Alaska. And uh, next uh, Weekend is the big uh, is the big open championship. Uh, men men and women will run in it, and uh, there'll be big teams. Some of them like 16 dog teams, and uh, instead of two dog trucks over there, uh, you'll probably see about 10, and uh, we'll be filming that one too. And. Uh, and that's, uh, there'll be a lot more people here. There's a lot more people coming into town. This uh, women's race is kind of a local um, race, uh, although Jennifer did come in from out of town uh, for this race, but the other two teams were both local teams. And uh, uh, what's coming into town for this coming weekend's race is uh, a lot of professional mushers. Uh, well, these are all professional mushers, but, uh, you know, just a whole bunch of, uh, professional mushers from outside, uh, you know, Fairbanks, Anchorage, and uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, all right. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's the main part of town now, right there, right in the middle there. That's the post office and store, main, main store, main post office. Well, it's the only store and only post office right now and uh, yep